Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are beating the game with only two soldiers uh, per mission. Uh, this is actually, I think, uh, mission number 39-ish and we're in month number 10. In, rea in real life, uh, in between the last mission and this mission, I haven't played for almost two months. I was fortunate enough to get a lot uh, uh, pre-recorded and I was even thinking about to um, not continue the run um, because uh, real life has taken uh, quite a bit of priority at the moment. Uh, but since I saw how many nice comments uh, the whole uh, series has gotten, I just felt um, I can't just leave it half finished. So I'm back and I am willing to continue the series and actually finish it. Uh, thanks to the nice comments and the viewership, I really appreciate it. Um, first uh, update or first uh, news here is um, the operator formerly known as Data has now been replaced by Phil Mitchell. Phil Mitch Mitchell, one of our viewers, wanted to be in the character pool. Phil, you got what you asked for. And Mitch, Mitch uh, Mustache, uh, as they called him during the Academy days, is the newest addition to the XCOM roster. Welcome on board, man, and thank you for your support. Um, we are going into this mission with Zirkim and Mitch as the sidekick. Most of our other operatives are either like completely out of the game, tired or otherwise not available. I wouldn't want to take uh, Roby onto this mission because Hawkbite is soon going to come back from the Covered Ops mission. The two of them are a SWAT and I didn't want uh, one of them to be tired afterwards. So it's going to fall down to Zirkim and Mitch to actually do this mission and we're up for a nice little uh, a nice little VIP rescue mission so it's actually going to be quite difficult uh, more so a lot is on the line if we're losing this mission or failing to complete it we're going to lose North Africa and I do not want or do not l want to let that happen uh, there is a nice continent bonus for an extra XCOM operative um, that has helped us quite a bit in some of the missions and I really want uh, to keep this in order to keep the whole run alive. Also uh, more than a hundred uh, intel are on the line so we wouldn't want to lose that would we? Anyways whilst um, we are loading the mission I want to talk a little bit more about YouTube and how much I appreciate uh, the support of the viewers we almost got a um, subscriber count of 500 now, uh, which I uh, found very, very um, nice. And most of uh, the comments, actually all of them, were just uh, outright positive. So much um, positivity, curious comments, uh, just friendly feedback. Um, that really uh, made me want to continue playing the, uh, the, the missions here. And uh, despite the fact that by now I have put 6,000 hours of playtime into XCOM, it never gets old. So here we are in the middle of uh, the next mission. And look at it. We got uh, yet another continent bonus. So we're actually starting this mission with three instead of two operatives. <laughs> Very good. Um, that's where the VIP is at, this is where we need to flee, and uh, this is probably the building uh, that we're going to take in order to fight. I want to take Zirkin like all the way up here and putting the rest maybe more to here. In sight. Look at that. Got our first enemy contact right there. All right, Zirkim. Zirkim could position himself pretty much up here, which I love. Such a strong position up here. And we're looking at an elite specter plus a normal soldier. Interesting. So let's soften up this elite specter, shall we? and uh, pull the pack right away. 
good old blue screen rounds help us to deal a shit ton of damage against them. Seems to be a pack of two. Oh no, there is a third one. Interesting. Alright, so... This here should set up the Spectre for a kill and soften up uh, the Purifier. Nice little hit. Also clears out a lot of the building. Spectre is going down. It's good. Nice little death from above shot. Purifier can also almost die here if we're playing our cards right. This here is a bit of an exposed position, but they don't have two time units, so he can't just move here and flank us. He can only take a shot and that's full cover. So we're going to move to here. Svetlana is going to help us today. Set up the purifier. Good job, Svetlana. Lovely. Which means... Purifier is going to die. Another death from above. And Zirkim is hammering it. Lovely. Yeah, that's untouchable, baby. Zirkim doesn't give a shit about that. Alright, let's continue with uh, Zirkim up here. It's killing time. Damn right. Oh. It was killing time. Taking another high ground here. Okay, we don't want to tr uh, to to run into the situation where we trigger yet another pack. Just keep it like on the low and check our options, shall we? Hmm. The vision increase isn't too bad. I like it. Squad vision increase also not not too bad. Seventy percent. Hmm. Nah, I don't want I don't want to risk a thirty percent chance of making this mission almost impossible. Not for such a quote unquote minor buff. We're going to Overwatch and hope that something is running into us. It isn't. Which means we are going to move on. That's another option for an infiltration here. I'm not going to pull this off, but oh wow. 50% scanning, scanning time reduction is, is huge. That's really good. Let's see if we can if we can unlock that door. Before we do so. Oh wait a second. Look at that. We Spotted but not spotted at the same time a sun answer here. Interesting. Hmm, if we were to go to here.
Hmm. I don't want to waste turns. That's my problem. Need to keep the ball rolling because there will be a lot of packs. Um, First of all, move over here. Yeah, nice. That spotted them out. They also do not know where exactly we are, which is perfect. Unfortunately, one of them has us flanked here. Hmm. This is not a flank. Wait a second, maybe it is. Right. That's not a bad start. Percent okay, hmm. Six to eight. If we were to hit this guy, seven to nine, so we're looking at 13. There's a very solid probability that we could kill this guy. There's also a very solid probability that we could kill this guy. Hmm. Stunlancer will run up, or will try to run up. We could counter it by just moving up here and standing right next to one another. He can't throw a grenade that far, so it should be fine. Let's chain shot and try to kill the officer. Shit, he was dodging. That's exactly what he shouldn't have done. We're going to overwatch with Svetlana here. Overwatch. And we're going to aid protocol Mitch, which means he is actually considered to be in half cover um, and can react to anyone moving up. It's just the marking. Adjusting sight. They're flanking my position. Who's got a med kit? Nice little dodge. Love it. Okay, we're moving up. I was hoping Svetlana would have had the chance to actually overwatch uh, shoot. She didn't. Well, that's a very, very nice hit. Alright. Zirka needs to be topped off. I don't want any bad surprises here. Alright, Zirkim himself. We're going to do the most efficient uh, thing. Which is reloading, killing, taking death from above, and untouchable. And continuing our reign of chaos. Good 
which leads us to Mitchell using his last activity. Oh, there's an Archon right there. Interesting. Using his last activity to get the hack going. Nice. Got the satellite data, which means we will be more efficient with scanning. There is an Archon. Certainly don't want to trigger him yet. Question I'm asking myself is what would be the the best position to trigger uh, this guy? Moving Svetlana to here. Hopefully that triggers. It does. Oh my gosh, two Archons and an Andromedon? Holy shit. Are you serious? Oh gosh, that is a difficult pick. Oh my lord, that's a difficult pick. Hmm. Okay, let's soften them up first. There's no question whether or not we are using the grenade. Of uh, the grenade here, of course we are. Even with all of that damage, they are barely hurt. I'd like to move a bit further away from Svetlana, to be honest, because Svetlana finds her. Uh, this year just kind of asks for. Um, for an acid goo. On the other hand, maybe we should start by killing the Andromedon. Because the Andromedon can deal a lot of damage, like his gun deals 10 points of damage, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, hmm. only two potential targets. One in front would be a third one. Let me think that through real quick. Moving to here, like we're looking at seven to nine and shredding. So at seven fourteen. And that's a hundred percent hit for the Andromedon as well. Okay. So that would be good. Hmm. Are we going for the Andromedon? We can't disable it otherwise, and it deals the most damage. Those guys here could go for Blazing Pinions, and they're not close enough really to do anything. Well, maybe, maybe more, maybe he's close enough. Not sure. Like, the other option is actually to hit him. That's an option. Do we have Chain Shot? No, we don't, so... Can't rely on it. So are we going for the Archons or for the Andromedon? It's, uh, it's more difficult than it looks, guys. On paper, it might be clear that the Archons uh, need to go first, but the Andromedon can uh, pretty much one-shot a lot of our uh, soldiers. So I'm almost inclined to go here and take a bit of a beating. Yeah, let's go for it. It's Andromedon. I have taken my decision. 
nice little critical hit. Looking at 11 points of damage left over. Okay, perfect. So the Andromedon is going to die. Its shell cannot reach us up here because we blocked the entrance. So we're fine when it comes to the shell. Next target is definitely going to be the Archon. Nice little 8 points of damage. It's almost down. rounds okay 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 let's start with hitting those guys here right, so he set up to be killed We are switching sides and gears a little bit. Reload so we make it efficient and kill the first Archon. Good job, good job. Very nice, very nice. Given an aid protocol for some extra Overwatch shots. Threat assessment, very nice. And let's try to hit the Archon. Oh, maximum damage. That might be a really, really good turn. We can't kill it. But the Overwatch might be able to uh, to actually kill it. The Overwatch might be actually able to kill it. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Good job. Zero damage. That was actually well played. If I humbly may say so. Super difficult pack that we were up against. Reloading. Let's set up the shell for a kill. It's nine points of damage. This is definitely going to be a kill, so we're going to reload. And Zirkin takes another death from above kill. Eight more turns. Are we going to risk uncovering another pack? How many did we kill yet? I was a pack of three here. A pack of two here. And a pack of, well, three really big ones here. So we're looking at eight. That's definitely another pack. And it's most likely going to be around here. Eight turns. Is it necessary to pull them? No, probably not. We don't have a real good overwatch and re actually really no reason to go there yet. Uh, shall we reload or overwatch? I think we're reloading because we still have J 
chain shot and saturation fire and they are pretty ammunition hungry so Svetlana is going to overwatch timing wise we are doing fine Svetlana is going to be our scout Are you telling me that there is no enemy? That sounds unlikely. It almost sounds too good to be true and in XCOM when something sounds too good to be true, it is usually too good to be true. I wish we could go here, but I really want to have the overwatches now. Seven turns, yeah, we're well within the time limit. Moving. All right, I am honestly surprised that we haven't triggered anything or anyone. Wait a second, what's that? Wait a second, what is that? Are you guys seeing this here? The energy. I've never seen that. Wait a second. Yeah, that might be from the Sky Ranger. Never mind. Moving to position. Two mutants and a gatekeeper. Holy fuck. Well, well. <laughs> the gatekeeper is definitely the, the main problem here. I don't want to fight him, to be honest. But there are a little other choices. Maybe we should actually start with the mutants to soften those guys up. Could move all the way to here. Grapple hook all the way up here. Not sure if this would be in the way though. Could move all the way here, grab all the way up here. No cover though. Let's see, disadvantage. Move all the way over here. Take a couple of shots. And be out of line of sight. Would be nice if we could explode the car, but we can't. Standing up here though. With a threat assessment would be the worst position to to find yourself in. Okay, we need to come up with a plan here.
So, if we could soften up the mutant, there is a high chance that we can kill it and afterwards just use death from above, right? Right. Good. So, let's start with actually hitting him. Unfortunately, we missed. By the way, it was uh, still the best potential shot that we would have gotten. The gatekeeper even had worse odds than that. But now since we do no longer have the option to hit the mutant, we might want to focus on the gatekeeper instead. And just play it safe because we've just discovered them. So let's move to here. Eight protocol to Zirkim. So he can have this extra shot. Extra threat assessment. And let's see if we can soften up the gatekeeper. Nice little hit. I mean, that's as much as you can expect from softening up a gatekeeper. Taking shots into full cover. Oh, shite. Yeah, wow, that was uh, rather harsh. Luckily, the explosion did not kill her completely. So we no longer have uh, the tactical advantage here. We could flank the guy though. And start actually killing the mutant. Seven to nine. Well, she has a plasma rifle, so the mutant would take severe damage. I like the idea. And there is a chance for a crit. Nice. Well done. Okay, 80% chance. Oops. It's a very solid uh, chance to actually kill him. That was not optimal. Sirkim is in a very exposed spot now. Unfortunate. Going to kill the uh, gatekeeper very soon. This might be the end of uh, Svetlana. No, she's just disoriented. 
Yeah, we're st uh, there are worse things uh, than being disoriented. We still have four more rounds. I want to keep Svetlana in the mix. So this here is going to remove her disorientation and will also heal her up quite a bit. No, it won't remove her disorientation. Ah, my bad. But that's okay. We got this one here definitely as a one-shot. Yeah, because the stock automatically deals at least one point of damage. Mitch here is going to set up the Gatekeeper kill. Well, not a bad timing for an execution. Yeah, and we got untouchable, so I'm quite confident that we could stand up here. Roger that. All right, three more turns. Actually going to be closer than I would have initially expected. Alright, looks like we are almost uh, through Overwatch. Oh, look at that. A couple of reinforcements. Well, that could be an extra kill or two. Going to stay right on uh, on target here. Svetlana probably will be left behind. Another Overwatch. And the VIP just moves out. Alright, so the mission itself is successful. Now it's just a matter of killing maybe some more of uh, the enemies. We're right on the evacuation spot, so uh, on the evac spot, so there shouldn't be any issue. Alright, time for a chain shot, and then Zirkim is gonna bow out. Oh wow, he even missed that. Alright, still a pretty good mission, Zirkim, good job. Svetlana gets the enemy protocol. And Mitch gets out of here as well. And you know what? Svetlana did a good job. She got injured twice. And there is no reason to leave her behind and sacrifice her. That would be cruel. So Svetlana also gets out. Good job. 
better than I would have expected. But boy oh boy, we got um, a pack with two Archons and an Andromedon. Wow, that was hardcore. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. So, we got a promotion. And quite frankly, Zirkin pretty much um, carried the entire run. The Death from Above was really, really helpful, together with the Spider Suit. That's just such a strong combination. And Mitch did an excellent job as well. Good effing job, Mitch. I like the Guardian piece, so Mitch has the chance for multiple Overwatch shots was actually really, really good. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, we got a uh, scientist and we got 104 intel. Work. Let's take a look at our training facility for Mitch real quick. Wait a second. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, there we go. Training center. Train abilities because I think Mitch had 12 um, ability points yep and we even got some XCOM points as well so death from above certainly could help I like the idea of haywire protocol that wouldn't be that wouldn't be bad either and if we were to get death from above for him there we go if we were to get death from above for him well that could work out as well i think it's just a very strong ability uh, such as untouchable hmm you know what let's trade in hail of bullets for death from above But I am not going to give him any of our XCOM AP, so we need to wait a little bit longer until he gets an extra ability 13. It's unfortunately a bit too much. Let's double check. Anyone else? No. Zirkim certainly. No, we know. No. Yeah, so it seems we do not have any upgrades at the moment. But ooh, that was good. We got some new intel and we got another scientist, which just increases our research speed quite a bit. And we got an increase in scanning um, speed. So Avenger power there. Now let's start with it. Wait a second, we're going to get the alien alloys first. Avenger plotting new course. Because we almost were done with them. Strategic resource there we located. go. Oh, nice. 60 Alarium, uh, 55 alien alloys. That's actually really good. And we got so much intel. I wonder if Avenger we can buy something from the black course. market that's worth it. Haven't been here for a while. Oh, superior conditioning is definitely worth it. Because we don't have enough PCSs at the moment. Yeah, I would be careful with the rest. A couple of good things, but noth nothing that we need like right away. We could get we could use some more money, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, Avenger plotting new course. We have a positive confirmation on an emergency huh. signal. Well, the there's the ambush uh, right away. So this is what we're going to do the next time, guys. Um, 
Subterfuge failed. Operation Moonhawk is about to start. I'm looking forward uh, for that. And yeah, see you in the next mission.